Good morning, brothers and sisters. We wish to gratefully acknowledge our Misa de Gallo sponsors, Wong Chu King family, Erwin Tulfo and family, Piat National High School, headed by Mrs. Maricel Bamed, Municipal Circuit Trial Court, Piat, headed by Judge Ephraim Kalimuhayan, Oscar, headed by Mrs. Mary Elsa Kinagoran, Dominic Baluga, Ruben Taguba, Vic Kinagoran, Dante Bravo, Cipriano Coreg, Alex De La Cruz, Remy Berha, Leslie and Norma Bernal and family, Ma Teresa Birum, Editan and family, Miguel Bingayan Kiamhor family, Mr. and Mrs. Reynold Ku and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rogelio Lacuban and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rudolf Espinosa and family, Mrs. Julie Noto and family, Engineer and Mrs. Carlos Cortina de Forth and family, Makaga Balisi family, Mr. and Mrs. Rogelio Carangian and family, Mr. and Mrs. Sebastian Aquino and family, Mr. and Mrs. Roel Binondo and children, GM Tito and Perlingan and children, Mr. and Mrs. Alice Salvador and family, Mr. and Mrs. Vincent Fermin and family, Mr. and Mrs. Joel Dasun and family, Zenaida Guzman and family, Elmer and Marie Zingapan, Camille Ann Guillab, and Mr. and Mrs. Del Yogi Yab and family. We also offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders for those who send their private intentions, for the benefactors and friends of the Basilica, and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Please kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and its its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson. 
Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The example of Mary Elizabeth challenges us to respond with joy and generosity. Like Mary, we should share the good news of salvation with those in need. And like Elizabeth, we should thank God and the bearers of glad tidings into our lives. So, my dear brothers and sisters, let us now 
acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God.
let us pray. For false, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The prophet Micah prophesies the birth of a shepherd king in Bethlehem, the birthplace of King David. This prophecy will direct the Magi from the east to Bethlehem, where they will worship the child Jesus. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Thus says the Lord, You, Bethlehem Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be the ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore, the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of the kindred shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord his God, and they shall remain. For now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth, he shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rose your power and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the sign of men whom you yourself make strong. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. May your help be with the men of your right hand, with the sign of men whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Far greater than the offerings and sacrifices of the old covenant is the obedience of Christ who came into the world in total submission to God's plan of salvation. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but the body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings holocaust and sin offerings you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. During those days, Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to the town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me? That the mother of my Lord should come to me. For at the moment, the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So, my dear brothers and sisters, in the Lord Jesus whose birthday we are preparing for this Christmas. We are now in the fourth day of our Novena Mass. And also this Sunday is the fourth Sunday of Advent. And uh, 
a few days before Christmas, we hear of the gospel today and we reflect on what berries Mary brought to the people around her when she visited or entered the house of Zechariah. So we learn from this gospel today uh, three message, three messages. Uh, number one is a message of joy. After receiving the news from the angel Gabriel, Mary, filled with joy, visited her cousin Elizabeth. The infant in her womb leapt for joy when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary. And Elizabeth herself cried out in a loud voice, Most blessed are you among women. And uh, full of joy, Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. And so, like Mary, we need to experience in our lives the joy that Jesus brings. Like Mary, we must always bring happiness in our relationships and in our friendships. The second message in the gospel today, my dear brothers and sisters, is about service. It reminds us of service. Knowing that Elizabeth was pregnant in old age, Mary stayed with her to help her in her time of need. That's why in the second joyful mystery when we pray the Holy Rosary about the visitation of Mary to her cousin, the, the fruit of this mystery is about the love of neighbor. The beautiful message of this mystery is found in loving service of others. And so like Mary, we need to learn that the meaning of our life is found in service. Mary, like Mary, we must reach out and take care of each other. So service, we have to learn to serve others and one another. And also the third message of the gospel today is, is about mission. In the gospel, we learn something about mission. In the journey of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth, she carried Jesus with her. She brought Jesus to the house of Zechariah. And Mary inspires us to be missionaries who go forth from our comfort zones, to, so to say, and to reach all people, even in the peripheries, those who are in need of our, our help and the light of the Holy Gospel because of our faith. So, like Mary, we must become uh, a bit missionaries to one another and to others. And so, in this Mass today, and we, we learn from the Holy Gospel, and it reminds us that Mary comes to visit us in our homes and to and in our hearts. The she comes to us full of grace and make our hearts leap for joy. So as Christians and as Christmas draws near, may we all experience the joy that only Jesus can give us. And like our beloved Pope reminding us in his, in his uh, letter to the world, the joy of the gospel fills the hearts and lives of all who experience Jesus. So only Jesus and always Jesus, we must bear in this in mind, 
because he is always in our midst and in our life. God blesses. Let us now proclaim Please, our God. faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now ask the Father to give us a welcoming heart, ready to prepare the way of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who alone can give us the fullness of joy and peace. With confidence we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Like Mary, who brought joy to her cousin Elizabeth, may the church, the people of God, be bearers of glad tidings to the hopeless, the lonely, the sick, the suffering, and the victims of all forms of injustices. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our government leaders be sensitive to the needs of the people they promise to serve and the promoters of justice, peace, and love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all of us respect and defend the right of the unborn, be sensitive to the situation of pregnant women, and provide better opportunities for the youth, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all families in the world possess a spirit of unity amidst the crisis brought about by the pandemic. May they be born supportive, understanding, and forgiving to each other. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our departed brothers and sisters be cradled by the love and joy that is brought about by God's eternal presence. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father, hear the prayer of your people. Strengthen our weak needs and fickle hearts that we may receive you with joy and renew the strength. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Praying with the brothers and sisters that this my sacrifice of yours be made acceptable to God, Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, Sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as I filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love, or all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by, your, by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us once for the and exalted in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven will sing the hymn of glory as without a be proclaimed. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, as you should pray, by ascending down your spirit upon the brick of the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered into his passion, took prayer, giving thanks for all, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice of what's well giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take those all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will report that for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven to this memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence, minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis of Pope. Ricardo, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep with the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, and spouse the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, the priests throughout the ages, we are married to be co heirs to eternal life, and praise glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, o glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. And the service go formed by divine teaching the day to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your pastors, peace and give you my peace and give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grace. Be glad and peace and unity in accordance with your will, Holy and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. You are the child side of peace. Peace with you. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed was called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the up of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that in the blessed sacrament, I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please kneel. Prayer for the 2022 20, national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may true, truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. For every petition, let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray all together. Shepherd, Shepherd of, of souls, souls and, and Savior of, of the nations. nations. Politics, Politics is your gift to us. us. A call, a call to serve, to serve others, others and grow, and grow in, in holiness. holiness. Guide, guide our politics as you guide, guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your, your loving name and, and help, help us grow in holiness, holiness forever, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Please be seated for a while. We will now have the second basket collection for the victims of Typhoon Odette, those who wish to give more may give your donations at the parish office of the Basilica. Thank you. Please stand. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the regions of Christ Advent and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion and the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, all, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life always. Thanks be to God. Please kneel. Let us now pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity, your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits, and in the hope of receiving new blessings, which you know I need in life. Then, the dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.